Hello all, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com and I'm here today with a project update video for this 1-6 scale German SDKZ222 armored car. Since the last video update, work has been made to the grill work as well as the fabrication of the model's turret. We'll be going over these details in this video. To start, we'll notice that the entire roof has been painted with the base coat of the Panzer Grey. This is because once the turret is fitted, these areas will not be that readily available to hit with the paint. So I painted the areas now so that when the turret is on, whatever areas are painted are painted and if the turret gets turned, I will not have any of the plastic material showing through, only that of the, of the base coat. Moving our way to the rear portion of the lower hull, we can see the fabrication and the installation of the grill work. As I mentioned in earlier videos, the 222 had a very elaborate grill work in the rear portion of the vehicle which allowed cool air to enter into the vehicle and into the radiator which was shown in an earlier video. The grill work itself was very very elaborate and very very difficult to fabricate. The grill work itself is all scratch built out of sheet metal and every little part of the grill work is actually fastened by hand, bent by hand, installed by hand, and the entire system, or the entire grill work you see here, is all soldered together. This is a one-off piece and will not be made for purchase or for the EastCoastArmory.com product line. The grill work featured these very intricate honeycomb style grill system and on each edge of the armored car or of the grill work we have two little axis hatches. These axis hatches here have their hinge detailing however are non-functional. Here's what the grill looked like during its construction. All the strips were bent around a frame. After the frame was established it was then subdivided and then once the subdivisions were completed, all of the honeycomb strips were bent, fitted, and soldered in place. As I mentioned before, all of the steel was actually cut by hand, shaped by hand, as well as fitted as well and installed by hand. Here we can see how the grill is very, very open, and yet it allows a lot of ventilation into the radiator which is mounted here in the rear portion of the hull. Even though the grill work is very effective at, at ventilating the, the armor car, the 222 being an open top vehicle already has plenty of cool air to enter into the radiator from the open top turret. So it's really not needed to have this grill work here. However, the Germans are never one to scamp on complexity. The model's turret was also assembled. The turret itself is the kit original, and like the body panels in the rest of the kit, the turret itself started off as laser cut pieces of plastic. The laser cut pieces were removed off the sprue, however just like with the body, it was, it was, it's a good idea to label and number all of the pieces of the turret. As you can see, there are a lot of little small little plastic panels, and if you do not label them, it is very easy to get lost with the number. The turret itself is actually very easy to put together. Uh, the only addition that I made was that on the bottom frame, on the belt sander, I sanded out a small little bevel on each side of the turret frame that was the same angle of the armored car. Once the frame had that angle, it was simply enough just adding glue to the sides and the bottom of the panels and just inserting them into place. The turret itself, all the panels are self-supporting, and once the glue dries, gives you a very rigid platform. This is fresh off the kit, and this is exactly what the kit gives you. What will happen to the turret next is welds are going to be added, as well as a turret neck. The neck will insert into the, or seat into, this, into the turret hole here in the body, and will keep it nice and aligned. Also, the visor holes will be reworked as this version here in the back is, looks to be far too large. And these versions here 
are possibly too small, but I will get to that later on in the build. Also, the slits on either side of the turret here are the same size. This slit here would be for the optic, while this slit here would be for the MG34 machine gun. The MG34 machine gun barrel, I believe, might be slightly fatter and wider than the slit provided. So this slit here is probably going to have to be widened once I start fabricating the gun mount. Also, that needs to be fabricated are going to be the welds, which hold the whole tower together, as well as the screen mesh grenade guard system that is stereotypical on these 222 armor cars. The armor car in this condition right now is now ready for the fabrication of the model's gun and gun mount. The gun and gun mount are going to be fabricated, however I'm making this video now because it's going to take a little while to fabricate these pieces and I want to at least post the progress I made prior to the fabrication of the gun. Once the gun is completed, I will make another video update as well as add the gun and gun mount to the EastCoastArmory.com product line. More information on this is to follow. And that concludes this project update video for this 1-6 scale German SDKFZ 222 armored car. If you like this video, stop by and like us on Facebook. And don't forget to check out EastCoastArmory.com for more 1-6 scale tank builds as well as other 1-6 scale detail components. Thank you.